This review is of a radio controlled version of the Conrad Liebherr 9100 mining excavator and included in the whole package is a number of boxes. But we'll start with the manuals and two are supplied, one in English and one in German. And looking through it, it's a comprehensive and well written manual. It seems to cover everything that you need to know about the model including how to look after it as well as how to control it. So as with any instructions it's worth having a good read through first rather than just trying to tear open the boxes and get started. There are a couple of boxes containing electronic parts and one is the charger for the model and on a full charge the model should run for well over an hour. The bigger box contains the transmitter and that is a Spectrum DX10T. This is a professional and powerful transmitter and it comes with all the relevant instructions and a charger. And then there's the model itself which comes in the standard Liebherr branded box. And there's the label of the maker which is Harkar Funktions Modelbau of Austria. In almost all respects the packaging is the same as the standard Conrad model. Although it is factory sealed with a bit of tape for shipping. So after carefully cutting the tape and lifting the lid, the model sits inside the tray. In terms of assembly it is identical to the Conrad model. There's a plastic mirror which clips onto the handrail outside the cab. And there's also a plastic access ladder which slots into place on the walkway. Compared to the standard Conrad model there's a difference on the base plate on the undercarriage. And there's a charging point and on off switch at the rear of the body. The metal tracks are the same ones as supplied by Conrad for the model. But this version has working rollers and a metal drive sprocket. Whereas the Conrad version makes do with a plastic sprocket and no rollers. Another difference is the small enclosures for the crawler track drive motors. The cab is different notably because it's got a driver sitting in it. And this one also has a beacon light on the cab roof. The body has got metal handrails and mesh flooring and there's a video camera on the rear of the counterweight. The grills are nicely formed and the graphics are very sharp. The surprising thing is that there is no indication this is a radio controlled model and the top view is the same as the standard Conrad version. One small difference is the wiring for the lights which is very discreetly done. There's also a very minor difference on the top of the stick of the radio controlled version shown here on the left. But otherwise the boomstick and bucket look just like the standard version. Of course what you can't see is the insides and with the battery removed it's packed full of motors and electronics. And it certainly all looks like a neat job. One interesting thing to look at is the weight of the model. The standard one weighs about 3 pounds or 1.4 kilos. With the RC version only 6 ounces or 200 grams heavier. <laughs> Let's start by switching on the transmitter and when it starts up the Liebherr R9100 profile appears in the display screen. And then we can push the button to power up the model. As you can see it took a little twitch to announce it was awake, but that will be corrected in the next version of the software. The model can be slewed from left to right by moving the joystick and the same joystick controls the movement of the stick. Moving to the other joystick and it controls the boom up and down. And side to side gives you the bucket in and out. One of the switches is configured to switch the lights on and off. And another switch sounds the horn and also toggles the engine noise on and off. The engine sounds have been recorded from the real machine and they vary according to the movement of the model. The other functionality of the model can be controlled by the two levers in the middle. And each one separately operates a crawler track so you can go forwards and backwards and steer. There's also another neat bit of functionality built in which is if you toggle a switch then the right hand joystick can be used to control the crawler movements. The transmitter is powerful because it can be programmed with the profiles of other models 
So it would be possible to have a collection of radio controlled models and operate them all from the, just the one control unit. We will now take a closer look at the crawler tracks and see how they perform. And even though they're operating here on a smooth surface, they work well enough. And the good thing is that the speed is proportionally controlled, depending on the position of the controls on the transmitter. Now at vast expense, let's do a test to see how powerful the motors that drive the crawler tracks are. And here we have a slope that's approximately 18 degrees. And the model has no problem making its way upwards. So let's give it a tougher test with a steeper angle of about 23 degrees. And still it goes up, but the tracks are beginning to slip a little bit even on the rough surface. If we go to a 30 degree angle, the model still wants to have a go and tries to climb. But it's the lack of grip that's stopping it, not the strength of the motors. So to provide a proper test of the motors at even more expense, a special surface has been provided. This one gives the crawler tracks enough to grip on even at a 30 degree angle. And it's great that the motors are strong enough to drive the model uphill. Moving on to the slewing motion, and again it's very well controlled. The speed is variable depending on the joystick position, so it has a realistic feel as it accelerates. But at the same time, if you're precise with the controls, then you can get it to slew quite slowly. Now we move on to the digging functions, and the movements are controlled by the hydraulic rams, although there are no real hydraulics on the model. In fact, the power is provided by small electric motors that are in the boom stick and body, and they drive screwed rods which are mounted in the rams. The result is that you get very controllable movements, and they're quite powerful too. The electronics of the model includes excess load and final position shutdown, so the motors and mechanism can't be damaged if it tries to do something that it shouldn't. Just like the other functions of the model, the rams have proportional control, so fine and delicate driving of the model is possible, as long as you've got enough skill to handle it. One other feature of the model is that the access ladder can be lowered, and no, it's not radio controlled. So let's get on with the genuine imitation real life test. And here we're digging some special cranes etc soft rocks. It's best not to use real stones or sand on the model, because even though it's strong enough to handle them, you want to avoid getting dust into the mechanism, and of course stones and sand will start to wear away the paint on the model. One option is to use a material like shredded cork, which provides a more realistic rock-like appearance. Of course the model also isn't designed to be used outdoors in wet or rainy conditions. One thing to note about the model is that it does take skill and practice to drive it well. And in that sense it does provide something of a realistic driving experience. As you can see here the Cranes Etc operator is making a reasonable attempt at driving the machine properly. And although he's not the fastest player on the pitch, at least he's getting the job done. Just admire how carefully he's placing those massive heavy rocks in the off-highway dump truck. <laughs> One optional extra for the model is the lighting package, and the light in the cab shows that the model is on. The LED lights can then be switched on and they are very bright. And another really nice aspect of the lighting package is that when the crawler tracks are working, the orange beacon light flashes on and off. So the lighting package is a very worthwhile addition to the model, and it certainly gives it a realistic look when you're on the night shift. Of course in the mining industry it's normally round the clock working, just as it is at Cranes Etc where the review team is working 24 hours a day. All of which probably explains why they're so dozy and make so many mistakes. Now let's do some extended testing and here we take our lead from the Saini stand at Con Expo 2014. And here they were showing off what their excavators can do. Well, if those machines can do it, let's see if this leap hair can do it. Of course it can, so let's give it another test. And here they go. Ladies 
and gentlemen, do not try this on the job site. I repeat, do not try this on the job site. Did he say don't try it on the job site? Well, we can certainly try it on the website. And for the last test. Full unrestricted 360 degree rotation of Emberworks for my GSY 215 with fantastic overall stability and superior operating efficiency. In summary, there's no doubt that this model is an excellent piece of precision model engineering. The Conrad base model looks good and is nicely detailed, but the radio controlled functionality puts it into a different league. Of course it's not a cheap model, but if you want something special, this one's outstanding. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.